damn. Nick straight fucked this shit up the other night. Jesus. Um, yeah, so I'm at the shop here. After I left last night, Benny didn't really get too much done. I'm gonna start working on the SR right now, like I promised I would. I know, I'm slacking on it, but it'll get done, don't worry. Some more cool stuff going on at the shop today. That vert that you guys saw the other night too. He's getting some stuff, well, we'll, we'll let Roger explain when he gets here in a little bit. Hey look, we got a vert. But here it is in the daytime. A nice 246 vert. So like I was saying before, the uh, vert was getting some love today. It's not in here yet, but this is the CA that's going in it with the transmission. Yeah, Roger and Pat were having a really hard time getting this like auto uh, pilot bearing off of the CA because that was originally DJ CA that was automatic. They put it together and realized that there wasn't a pilot bearing in there and the auto one was in there and dude, they literally, you guys what? Worked on it for like five fucking hours trying to get that shit out. It was like horrendous. Horrendous, but they managed getting it out with like a breaker bar, end of a breaker bar, just like wiggling it out, and it came out. Put a new bearing in, put the flywheel clutch transmission on, and this thing's pretty much ready to get slipped into the vert that I showed you earlier. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do some things on my SR now. Been slacking, just chilling all day long. Feel bad, but uh, it'll come together. Don't worry. Yo, what's up, man? We here at the shop, man. We getting it done, you know. <laughs> Keeping it gangster. Yeah, yeah. Keeping it, you know, yeah, yeah. fresh air over here, you know. We got the engine over here. We're about to mount that shit in. <laughs> That's it. What's your name? Shaq, you know, we keep it gangster. That's over it, here, Shaq. You know. I got oh, you. Man. If I need a favor, I can hit you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a big enough trunk, you know. If it's ten bodies in there, so we're good. Oh shit! Yep. I can't use this in my video, but I might. Ah, uh, <laughs> don't do it, man. Don't do it. <laughs> Just gift all these puppies to a nice .28. Gonna toss them in. Put the coil packs back in. Get the harness and the ground on. And more shit. Shit, nigga, I hijacked your motherfucking camera, B.I. What the fuck is good up in this shit? Keep it a gangster. You know, this my Negro right here. You know, he's the hardest motherfucker in the group. He's the murderer, the killer, the gangster. So, this is my new whip. This is the G gangster himself coming through. So, since I didn't really get much done earlier today, I decided to just powerhouse this thing. I got the engine mounts on, power string bracket. Alternator and bracket set up with the belt. Got this other engine mount on, and now I got the gasket for the intake manifold on. Denatured everything. Gonna clean up the intake manifold a little bit and get that on there. So now the intake manifold and this bracket down here are on. I'm going to throw the turbo setup on here now. So the turbo setup is on. It is bolted up to the head. There is the coolant return. Coolant feed is on there. Oil feed is on there. Oil return is on. Everything is situated there. In the meantime, I actually took my engine harness and completely rewrapped it. I ended up having to put this um, manual TPS sensor plug pigtail on there I got from Roger. Got rid of the auto one because auto sensors suck and I'm going to use the manual because it's better and it doesn't break. But yeah, this harness got fully rewrapped, gone through. It is uh, pretty minty, minty, minty fresh. All the way down to this long ass plug that ends at the mouth. Next I have to do this harness, which is this is the lower harness. That goes to the alternator, starter, oil pressure sensor, which I don't have, and to the transmission. Literally, I had this whole entire roll of this 3M Scotch electrical tape, and this is what I have left. So, thankfully, I have another roll here that I'm going to use for that harness. And that'll be all set. Also, I didn't mention this before, but this Freddy fake ready pan that I have over here was not too bad. I know you guys know like all the stuff that I had to deal with that pan clearancing it for the baffle and I don't know there was like paint on it and then I had it run through the wash with the uh, machine shop and I thought it was all set and everything was good and then once I started doing assembly on the motor and like throwing oil everywhere during assembly it ended up dripping down to the pan enough to the point where it filled up the pan a little bit and it started to leak all over the ground from the drain bolt so when I pulled the drain bolt out, I noticed that the threads on the bolt were totally fine. It's a brand new Grady plug, magnetic plug, but the threads on the pan itself were like super blown out because it's 
totally shitty casting. I could fix it. I'm kind of at this point done with the pan, so I ended up getting something awesome. That limited Nike SB Tome collab one of one. All right, just kidding. So I did get this super, super, super dope Tome oil pan with the baffles that work really nicely. Super awesome build quality on this thing. Got a bung, obviously, for an oil temp sensor. Got the bung for the drain plug. Hopefully the Gretti plug fits in there. Got some stickers, hardware, some studs, because these bolts right here, oh, right here, right here, right here, and right here, are hard to get to, so you have to put a stud in the upper pan and then get it on that way, but yeah. I originally ordered a Circuit Sports fan, but they didn't have it in stock, so I paid a little bit more and got this thing. I literally could not be any more hyped. Like, this is... The one thing that I was sketched out about on this motor was the lower oil pan, the fake ready one. Now, this is the last piece, and I couldn't be more excited because there's literally not one part about this entire build that is sketchy in one way or another. So, yeah. Fuck yeah. Like I said, gonna do this harness, get that back on the motor, and then I'm gonna throw the pan on, and that's probably gonna be it for tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna come in here and get the car jacked up, start getting this guy off the stand, get the uh, clutch flywheel transmission on, and I guess start putting it in. So you guys remember what the lower harness looked like before, but now we got this beautiful wrapped up piece right here. Super hyped on this. Just gonna throw that on real quick and put the pan on. So the lower harness is on the alternator. Gotta get hooked up to everything else later tomorrow. Ended up getting the oil pan off and got the studs in for the new Tomei pan. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the Freddy pan versus the Tomei pan. You can tell the Freddy pan is slightly larger, quite a bit larger. Tomei pan is a little bit lower by like maybe an eighth of an inch. Just gonna throw a bead of silicone around this guy, throw it up in there, and that's it for tonight. It's like one in the morning. I'm trying to get this done, but it's almost a night. Once this pan is on here and it's snugged up, I'm going home. Damn, oil pan is on there. Super awesome quality. So may oil pan. This is like literally now my favorite part of this whole SR build. Makes the mortar way better than that stupid Freddy pan. All right, it is the end of the night. It is 1.54 in the morning. And I have work tomorrow and I gotta get home, so. Thank you for watching guys, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode because it's gonna be an exciting one. I'm gonna be putting that into there. Please stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, have a good night.